Everyone, it's the Random Guy. Got another video for you. This time, it's about my power meter. Magin P505. So, I had this. I bought this uh, in fall. Uh, and I stuck this on my uh, trainer. I did some review. Uh, I shouldn't say I did reviews. But I watched some reviews about this. And I'm going to post a guy who did a really good uh, review on it. Um, he went to depth and, um, uh, yeah, it made me want to buy it. So I, I spent, uh, 350 bucks for that. So this is a power meter and cadence. Um, they're saying it's 1.5 precise power data, which means 1.5 accuracy, which is pretty good. Um, this is a power meter and a cadence. So what happens is, is when I got this, um, this part here was detached. You had to install this circle, which is called a spider meter, right? And um, it just comes in, um, the package just comes with this arm, this part here and that part there. And then you have to slide this on and then you screw it on with this bolt here. They give you a tool to do it, but you'll have to use something else to actually yank on it to make it tight. So this thing, uh, this power meter supports Bluetooth and Ant Plus protocol. The battery life on this is 200 hours. Now, I've used it. I did charge it through throughout the winter. I, I probably didn't have to, but I just, I would hate to have the battery die in the middle of a ride. Or a training session, which really would really suck. Um, it is waterproof. Uh, has to be because you know some people do race, and if you do ride in the water, has to be able to deal with those elements. It has a magnetic charge right here, so it's the uh, the face of it connects here, and the other end is a USB. So just make sure you know that they don't come with a plug; it just comes with a USB one end and this magnetic charger on the other end it has about two years warranty the bdc is 110 millimeters 110 millimeters they're saying that the power range of this is zero to 2500 if you could do 2500 power uh you're not human you're a god and i would like to shake your hand if that's possible Maybe you could pass some of that power to me. The cadence, um, the range is 20 to 200 RPM. Same thing, that's pretty high. And they claim the working temperatures. This is what they said on the, on the website. Minus 10 to minus 50. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but the fact that it could work in minus 50, that's impressive. I don't know who would ride their bike in minus 50, but if you do do that, well, again... You're not human. You're a god. And uh, you have all my respect because I know, I remember one time, it's a couple of years ago, uh, probably over like 20 years ago, maybe uh, 25 years ago, could be a little bit more than that, on uh, January the 1st, we had, it was cold like 42, couldn't breathe. Every time I sucked in the air, it's, it just burnt my lungs. It was, it was insane how cold it was. Anyways, you don't want to. Listen to me ramble. So let's get the weight. So they said 600 grams. I don't know. Feels pretty heavy to me. Let's see if it's this. That's 600 grams. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's uh, just that arm alone is 473. Sorry, 437. Look, I did a, a review about bolts. I got my bolt on, so... Probably weighs nothing anyways, maybe like two grams. So 196. So again, let's try this one last time because I messed it up big time. That's 436. Okay, now I'm gonna add the other arm. 633 grams. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be a little weight. But then again, there's grease. I got that bolt there, you know, which, I just pulled this off my bike to do the video. So, I mean, realistically, 33 grams. 
I mean, you probably breathe in 33 grams. So there you have it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to put in the description, as I said before, uh, on the guy who actually went through depth. He's a pretty good guy. He knows what he's talking about a lot more than I do anyways. And uh, yeah, you'll see the... Uh, You'll see the workings and he'll give his honest uh, uh, opinion. But to be honest, I really like it. And there's different sizes. You can get 165 millimeter for the arms. I got 170. Um, I actually like the 170. Feels pretty good on my knees. So I'm happy with this. I have no complaints. Um, but if any of you out there can get 2,500 power watts, uh, Send some my way because I can use some. Anyways, that's it for the video. Subscribe. Throw a thumbs up. Appreciate you. Have a good one.